Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about the Library Research Database Opposing Viewpoints. It's one of my favorite databases and it is perfect for any topic you have that is a controversial social issue. <clears throat> so that's especially what it's made for. It does some other things too, but that's really what its big strength is. So instead of just going to the search all databases search box here, I'm going to go to databases and look up this particular database. So I'll just go to our listing here, O, and I'm looking for Opposing Viewpoints, and it's listed as Opposing Viewpoints in Context. And I'll just give you kind of a quick overview of how this works and how useful it can be for you. <clears throat> so one of, I'll just show you how, how the topics work, and then we'll talk about kind of how to search here. Let's say you were going to do a paper on Facebook. So if it comes up in bold, that's great on this search because that means they've created a whole page where they organize the research for you. And this is a big difference between how this works and how a general uh, database, article database would work where they just bring up lists and lists and lists and lists of articles for you to look through. This, they bring up pages that are organized for you. There's all sorts of different types of uh, information resources organized for you. So it's really, it's really great and it makes it really easy to use. So here, uh, Facebook, if you click here, read more, this brings up just a nice summary of this topic. Key events, social impact and safety concerns, critical thinking questions, targeted ads, fake news, just a real nice breakdown of this. Then when we go back to that page, there are all these different types of things here. You can see them listed here, but I'll just go down and kind of point them out. Here, if you're looking for academic journals, the peer-reviewed journal articles, they've, they've selected 72 that they think are useful on this topic. So it, it differs from a regular database where you go in and type in everything you're looking for and really sculpt your search. This one, if you're just kind of getting started with the topic or you're not sure exactly what you want, or you just want to see what's out there, it's a nice organization. They've suggested 72 different academic journal articles you could look at. What they're really famous for, this uh, database, hence the name Opposing Viewpoints, is they select these viewpoint articles. Now these are generally not peer-reviewed, but these are so featured viewpoint. These are their most popular ones and viewpoints, this, these are all of theirs. And if you look, they're very pointed articles. They're very much taking one side or another on a controversial topic with Facebook, for example. Facebook should not ban fringe perspectives. Facebook risks starting a war on knowledge. The Zuckerberg hearings prove government shouldn't regulate Facebook. It's These are basically professional argumentative essays. And if you're looking to write an argumentative essay, this would be a great place to look to to see examples of how argumentative essays should work and to gather evidence for your paper. So if you click on to viewpoints, you can see all 28 of these viewpoints. And again, it's very much like a browsing type database. It's not so much searching with a lot of words like, like EBSCO databases are. This one is more it just shows you examples and then you can kind of scroll through and, and pick things you think might be might be useful to you. And they do not shy away from very controversial issues in here and very controversial articles. Just be aware of that. So you're going to see all kinds of points of view in here that you may agree with or may offend you. So this is not a database for the faint of heart. This is for if you really want to get into the controversies and uh, it'll it'll give them to you. So. Let's look here. So then we have primary sources. So this is an interview with one of the founders of Facebook who says it's time to break it up. And you get to see the video there of this interview. Might be interesting to look at. Let's go back here. Here is a section from a reference book on Facebook, just giving you some basic facts again. Infographics, self-reported Facebook use among U.S. adults by selected demographics. Let's open this up and take a look at this. <clears throat> so nice, some nice charts breaking down these basically statistics. Could be very interesting for your paper. Let's go back here. Let's look at some other things. And again, it's all on this one page. I'm not having to do a bunch of searches. This is all on one page. Just organized so it's very easy to get to. Here's 17 videos they've selected. Here's audio. These are radio stories you can go to. Here's newspaper articles here, 13,905. If you really want to go into the deep there, you can click in there. There's a bunch of newspaper articles, magazine articles here. And here's statistics if you just want straight stats on your topic. 
and here's some suggested websites. So that's how you use this database. Also, what's really nice, here are related topics. If you're interested in that, in that uh, topic, you probably could use some of these other topics too. Big data, that would be good. Conspiracy theories, cyberbullying, digital currency, digital media, fake news on social media, and any of these that you click on will launch a new page just like this. Fake news on social media. Here's the breakdown of the issue. You scroll down, here's your viewpoints. Those are the, those argumentative essays. Featured viewpoints are the most popular ones, and then viewpoints are just all of the viewpoints. Peer review journals, academic journal articles, primary sources, reference sources, infographics, images on this one, audio, video, newspaper articles under news, magazines, websites, statistics. So it's great. And, and, and then at the bottom here, it will lead you to some other ones that might be interesting to you. Let's just look at the general one on, uh, let's look at Twitter. So with a few clicks, I could easily have enough uh, information resources to write my whole paper. Okay, so it's a great, great database. Uh, this would be the link you would use if you wanted to send this link or save this link somewhere. This is the actual link right there if you wanted to save that as a favorite. Okay, so Make sure you go to get link. Okay, let me go home again. Let me go back to the home page. Now, you can also just looking through here, you can just kind of browse through issues of interest. Click through here. There's all sorts of interesting topics down here. They have this browse issues. They have it set up by subject. That would be an interesting paper, compensation for college athletes and health and medicine, energy and environmentalism. And if you are interested in these national debate topics, you want to just see what's really going on right now. I could click on there and it would, this is, I let's say I'm not sure what I want to write, write my paper on. This is any one of these will bring up one of those pages. And if it's in here, it means there's a lot of research on it right now. So these are national debate topics. I could just kind of scroll through here and pick a, pick a topic that looks interesting to me and I can explore the topic very quickly to see if this interests me. But there's definitely enough research on any one of these topics that you choose from here. Let me go back to the home page. And let's say I really don't have any idea what I want to write about and I just want to look through the issues. You could go to browse issues right here. And you can just look through all of the issues they have. And any one of these is going to bring up one of those pages. So it would really, really help you start on your end to check out a lot of these issues to see if this interests you enough to write a paper on it. It's a great place to browse for an issue. Just looking through here, see if anything uh, grabs your interest. And any one of these that looks interesting to you, you can just click on it. How about Road Rage? And it brings up one of these pages, just like before. So I think it's a great database and I think it can really, really help you. And it's it's an easier database to use than a lot of the other databases. If, if you're feeling you have information overload from the EBSCO databases or from the discovery system, this would be a great database to go into to just kind of browse and just kind of kind of look around at it and shop for a topic, really, and uh, very quickly see a lot of different points of view on your topic. Okay, that's the intro to uh, Gale Opposing Viewpoints. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching. As always, bye-bye.